So it's rare that anyone is car camping in a 2008 Subaru Legacy, except that I am. And other people may have run into a similar problem that I'm facing, which is frameless windows. They're really cool until you want rain guards, or a roof bag, or want to keep bugs out with one of those fancy over-the-window bug screens. Yes, it can be this easy if your car doors have frames. But if they don't, I've created a little tutorial to show you how you can make your own bug screens. These are great for camping or even just sitting in your car and enjoying the breeze on your lunch break without a bee flying into your sandwich. Yes, you can truly have it all. And it only costs like $10 or so. So I mean, if your windows do have frames and you want to take the cheap route, this is for you as well. So the basic function of these screens are to be able to pop in and out of your windows whether they are open or closed. And it's essentially just a metal wire frame and a standard bug screen. Luckily, car windows have these little rubber lips that can easily accommodate a metal frame. And if yours don't have that for some reason, actually don't know if all cars have them. I'm not a mechanic, just the daughter of one, but I think they should all have them. What you'll need is a measuring tape of any kind, wire cutters, scissors, electrical tape, but if you don't have that, duct tape works fine, a pencil, safety pins, or honestly, wire ties, bobby pins, they should all work, sewing supplies, wire, window screen material of your choice, available at most home improvement stores. I personally got charcoal fiberglass screen mesh for $7 at a well-known store with a blue theme and rhymes with toes, and poster board or large paper is optional. Now, the wire should have some thickness to it. This is the wire I'm using, and I'm just using the pencil for size comparison. It should be thick enough to hold shape, but also flexible. I actually got mine from the frames of these way too small window screens I got at Goodwill, but you will most likely be able to find them at any hardware store. Just <coughs> please, please tape the ends if they are sharp, my thumb just finally healed. Now you want a decent enough amount of wire. These two equal about 10 feet altogether, but there is a bit of excess. If you want to make two screens for a cross breeze, I'd say you probably need about 12 to 14 feet, depending on the size of the windows. I forget how much screen I got, but just use your own judgment on that. Just measure it and stuff. Now, you can either use a paper guide, which you shove into your window and trace, then cut an inch or two outside that line, or you can simply measure every length of the window and write down each measurement. I tried both and I preferred measuring, but you can do whichever feels easiest or even a hybrid of both. Essentially, you just want an accurate measurement of the screen you are making, keeping in mind that you need to factor in the extra space of the lips that the frame needs to sit inside. So after you make your measurements, tape the two sides of the wire together, ensuring that the ends are not exposed because, owie, sharp. Then position the frame on the screen so that it's roughly the correct shape and size of the window. Now, unfortunately, I am not a perfectionist, so mine is not going to be perfect. Also, windows are shaped kind of weird, and you can probably bypass that by being super precise about the shape and lengths, but that is your time, friend. And remember, if you go too small or if the corners don't fit quite right, it's okay because as long as you leave extra screen material at the edges, you can work with it, either with tape or shoving it into the door creases, etc. Make sure to test the metal frame out in the window before you attach the screen. Yeah, this whole part is kind of tricky and frustrating, so I will warn you, you're saving money, not your sanity. Use your safety pins or twist ties or whatever to pin the frame in place, being the correct shape and lengths. Oh, binder clips might work too, or clamps if you're an adult. In this case, I'm using the first screen I made as a guide. Um, you can do that for your second screen, but for your first one, you're just going to be using either your paper guide or your measurements. So you have to fold the screen material over the frames and pin slash tie slash clamp it all into place all around. Thread, scissors, needle, okay. Then you sew, and sew, and sew. I used thin black thread and then reinforced every few inches with a little knot with thicker string. Before you cut off the excess screen material, test it out in your window to see if there's any screen material you should leave. I cut off the top excess because it's not necessary for me, but I left the bottom and especially the bottom two corners because they fit a little funky, but I don't think it should be an issue. Now the screen should fit right in the window. And now I have two screens that I made myself. 
with wire from Goodwill car screens that I got for like $2, screen mesh that I got for $7, and some supplies I already had. And now I can sleep or chill or host backseat car parties somehow, bug free. Except this guy, but he won't hurt anybody. Thanks for watching! Make sure to subscribe if you want to see me use these screens in action on my road trip to Montana, which I leave for tomorrow. Have fun living your breezy, bug-free life.